You like his chances to win the tip with the seven foot four inch Chris Kumaji. <laughs> and he did control it away from Kerry Blackshear. Give him a lot of credit. I mean, they have played really well. I thought they were terrific yesterday. Terrence Mann, the bucket. Shot clock at five. Where Bisa Beatty lays it in. Nicely done. Drove all the way from beyond the arc. Look at that heat. Man, nice move. Seems like the ball goes through the basket. Alexander Walker jump stop and a nifty fadeaway for the sophomore from Toronto. Leonard Hamilton said he might have been our best point guard the last couple of years, but in Tallahassee under Leonard Hamilton, it seems like you wait your turn, you earn it yes. over the upperclassmen. I'm the leading scorer, you don't start me. I never hear issues with Florida State. Well, I spoke with Fiondu Cavangeli, and that's a three from their dangerous three-point shooter, P.J. Savoy. to do that, but he accepted it and took advantage of it. You can see he's gained about 20 pounds of muscle during his time in Tallahassee. They run out, and it's a lob that's tipped in by Raekwon Gray. Ahmed Hill's three wouldn't go for the Hokies. They're off to a slow start. Of course, they played yesterday. Florida State did not. But no rust for the Seminoles. That's a three from the corner. Virginia Tech, six points nearly midway through. Another line change coming. In this first half. And finally, P.J. Horn gets one to go. Maji primarily a shot blocker. Seventh in school history. He couldn't do anything to stop that. Kerry Blackshear scores. Quickly on the basketball. And still haven't made a three. They're 0 for 6, but they have scored the last six points in this game. That run ended by Terrence Mann. Yeah, that wasn't great there. Isaiah Wilkins, the freshman. Blackshear, second team all-conference. Ahmed Hill, nice looking shot. Kumaji double teamed and threw it away. Ahmed Hill lays it in. Can't Looked like uh, your guy who dwarfed you got a little panic stricken there when they came to double him. North Andover, Massachusetts. Blackshear had a double double yesterday. He fed Isaiah Wilkins and the freshman. Man, another pass to set up a three, and this one's good by MJ Walker. You assume Indiana's the first one to go back in if they're in That's that position. That's sort of the way it works with Joey Brackets. I like it. Somebody flash up high and it'll open up the backside. Oh, it in. And the Blacks are wide open. Nice pass by Isaiah Wilkins. And there's a freshman who's been more of a factor as the season's gone along. As I mentioned yesterday, just 18 years old and won't be 19 until September 29th. Tough shot, and he made it a fadeaway by David Nichols. Heard from Albany, said he's brought a lot of leadership, a lot of toughness and intensity to a team that already had a lot of it. He just got called for a foul and count the bucket for Nikhil Alexander Walker. You certainly don't. But the offensive rebound by Raekwon Gray and swatted from behind by Nikhil Alexander Walker. They still can't make a three. That was a bad shot. You can get that shot anytime. They got to play inside. This is a good shot. Kevin Kelly finally oh. on the score sheet, and it's a three. Their brother Dikembe is the third oldest, and now there's a block shot that Dikembe would appreciate. Man, maybe an extra step. He lays it in after the block shot. Boy, pretty good pump from Blackshear. Leads to a turnover and a dunk for Ahmed Hill. Year. They run a lot of their offense through him up around the high post, the free throw line. He popped out. Beatty found him. That's a three. It's a one possession game. Under 13 and a half minutes to go. Savoy. That's a three from well beyond the arc. That time they switch. Kevin Gelly. Alexander Walker spinning down the edge of the lane and scoring. Obviously a low scoring affair at 36-32 with 12 and a half to go. Kofer for three, Phil Kofer.
who yeah. specializes in that, among a lot of other things that he does for the Seminole program. He spent a lot of time developing the skill set for Kevin Gelly. Savoy. Oh, Kumaji, that's almost not fair. And the three point play opportunity for Chris Kumaji. Five point game almost midway through the second half. Hill had to get rid of it quickly. Savoy coming after him. Don't think Wilkins meant to put it on the floor. It looked like the ball slipped out of his hands and that threw it off. Now a three out of the corner. What a turn of events. Looked like Virginia Tech was about to tie it. Virginia Tech, they're locked in. The cell, wow. Important now with five and a half to go in a five point game. Wilkins the interception. Ahmed Hill lays it in. Largest deficit for Virginia Tech was 13. They've never let in the game. They're still down by three on the miss by Alexander Walker. Hill, strong baseline drive. It's a one point game. He cleared space. Blackshear didn't go up with him. Just missed it. Alexander Walker back to the bucket, and they're tied again at 50. Kofer for three. Oh. Rattled home from the corner. Larry Hamilton talks about how important he is. He does so many things to help the team. Blackshear managed to get it up. They almost had him surrounded with three players. They would have had a full shot clock if they got an offensive rebound, but it was Blackshear. That was a great rebound by Blackshear. And he dunks it for their first lead of the game with 1.16 to go. But it's a veteran team with a lot of options out there, including Kevin Gelly. Again, tough defense played by Blackshear. Alexander Walker off for beat. He's not really a shooter. Shot clock at eight. Blackshear steps in, gets fouled, and scores. Four fouls on Cabin Gelly. Blackshear to make it a two possession game. No. They went to overtime when they played nine days ago. Might that happen again? From the corner, Cabin Gelly. No. Savoy. Here he comes to the left corner. Yeah, the cell. He makes the three. Oh, Wilkins right up on him. Almost fouled him. Wilkins went after him if he was trying to foul. He was not. He's lucky he didn't get called for right. a foul. That could have been four, Sean. That could have been four right there and a loss. Wow. The left side's no good, Sean. Look at how many people are over here. Look at all this. The cell talks and dunks. What a game he is having. A short. And he's down behind the play. Numbers for the Hokies. Hill's not waiting for the help. Blackshear tips it in. What hustle by Blackshear. Off his foot. Alexander Walker with the cell running out at him. And Kevin Gelly lunging toward him. Time they get anything, the shot clock's always running down. Mm -hmm. Plenty of life in the step of the Hokies, even though they're the team that played yesterday. Cabin Whoa. Kelly backed it home. Med Hills had an excellent day, 16 points. Wide open, Alexander Walker gets the bounce off the front rim, up for the air and through. They're up by three. Got wide open, Blackshear covered up. MJ Walker now man. Off it goes for Hofer in the semis. Trying to get it to Blackshear on a mismatch. Beatty looking for help. Deep three with about five on the sh Run their crossing action underneath. See if Virginia Tech has it figured out. Forrest bounced it underneath. Buzz Williams. He's got a lane right to get to the rim. Here he is. No whistle, no basket. Time for the Knolls. Got to go. Yeah, Forrest been a little off his game today. Slow to get it up. Now, man. With 1.8 to go, timeout, Virginia Tech. To shoot this to the front of the rim, the left side. Look at how hard a shot this is, but he stays square and he keeps his chin on the rim and he gets a roll. Whoa! His first points since 8.50 remained in the first half. Wow, here's a cross, now they're going up high. 
to the middle of the floor. Alexander Walker for the win at the buzzer. Wide right, and Florida State goes on to the semifinal.